Figure Four Radio. 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 Lock it in. 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 Figure 4 Radio. Hello everyone, welcome to Figure 4 Radio. It's the Master Minority Spring, joined today as always by Luke Mac. Hello! And um, we are joined, um, not so... Too, too special. Too not special yeah, guests. Yeah, semi-special. A little bit special. Oh, they're special in it's their like, own right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have the killer Let's guy just, Rand. Oh, are we dying? <laughs> <laughs> I think we, we just start our own <laughs> heating podcast and just trash this one out of the water. And Scott Star Spud. Good evening. Hey. Or good day. Good morning. Just depends yeah. when you're listening I've, to it. I've missed Kai saying good hello. Oh, Kai. What? Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> good hello hey, hey. everything feels go. better now even though i still hate that saying yeah, but yeah get um, used to it i'm gonna say at your wedding where did it come from <laughs> uh confusion <laughs> <laughs> drinking and excessive drug use on podcasts um so today guys we're talking about tna TNA. Titties and no no we're not okay. we're not talking about tna we're talking about impact wrestling oh right oh impact yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's something back on, the company can't do. It's, ba- <laughs> <laughs> it's back on UK TV. Yeah, Spike Free TV. Spike Free TV. TV. Sp- now showing Impact Wrestling. Uh, they hired oh, Danny funny. Dyer for the for the voiceovers. <laughs> right now, it's fucking TNA, isn't it? Right, it's a Drew Galloway. Drew Galloway. Drew Galloway can fuck off out me pub. He's going back to WWE. <laughs> McIntyre, who the fuck is that? What, what the still... hell happened to that accent? <laughs> Shall <laughs> turn really far <laughs> <Just mouth>. <laughs> Kai's <laughs> impressions always drift back to West Country I after can't about do two minutes. Accents. <laughs> <laughs> was it your Indian one? You started off Indian, and like, was it Sanjay Dutt we were doing? And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, I know what you're talking about. Wait, what? I'm going to win. I'm going to win that exhibition championship, boy. Yeah. I'm going to do one of those flippy things on Stone Edge and go and shag a sheep. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's pigs round there. It's not sheep, it's pigs round Stonehenge. There you go. I owe you a table from bashing all the time. So, Impact Wrestling, who's watched it since it's been back on Spike? Me. You I've made seen the me. spoilers. Who made you? you? I said I'd watch it so we could do this podcast because we, we did the other oh, one okay. about we where it was not, going wrong. We did not tie you down and force you to watch it. You watched it under your own accord. I wish I hadn't. Really? <laughs> yeah. I thought, right, okay, so it started off with the live special. Which I um, thought was quite good. I quite enjoyed the live one. Yeah, no, I did. Uh, first ten minutes had me hooked, lying yeah. and sinkered. I didn't see it. I will grant not you the, fir- the live <laughs> special was pretty good, and they could not capitalise a follow up because the week after that was back to the same old shite. Yeah, it did kind of a. It but. was just like an anti climax galore. So I'm, I'm sure there's a good chance we'll be talking about this next week. Um, I, 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 the, the roster for me, I like. Well, so the first, the first episode back. Was quite good because there was LAX, which we knew. Mm-hmm. Um, who else was new? There was a few new people, new new faces. The X Division had a few new guys in it. It wasn't yeah, but it wasn't headlined by Al- Alberto Del Tuato. Not the first no. one. No, the oh. first one was headlined by was it? Yeah, it, it was the X Division, the one where Sanjay Dutt got a knee in the eyeball and oh that yeah the, oh, oh that sounds nasty. Loki I didn't came see back. It. Loki came back and oh, won. Oh yeah, I read that. He came back and won it. Yeah, won, I didn't realise that was the live in one in a suit. He barely unbuttoned. It was his, basically his suit. Hitman, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. basically yeah. just ripped off Hitman. Which I quite. I mean, there's nothing wrong I with that. Hated it. So Why? Get your own gimmick. Well, he's had loads. He, he's had loads. Now he's on also, that's going to limit him the in the ring, thing. isn't it? A little bit wearing a full-on well, you, suit. You'd think that, but yeah, he actually seemed to do all right. Yeah, it, was, it was very nimble. Surely he can't wrestle in a suit. Well, as a suit, well, then. He did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm, with, I'm with Luke on this because it was just not very good. It, I just think that we said it on the quiz, which is either before or after this. I don't know. But it's what quiz? Just, the quiz. Uh, <laughs> Next week's quiz. <laughs> the, Next week's it was quiz. warfare. Yeah, well, it's supposed to be brand warfare, but there's no belts or anything like that it's worth true. winning. So Ollie and, I kind of, <laughs> Ollie and I kind of gave up. See, <laughs> this, this, this is the problem. You, you're spoiling a quiz that has not happened. Gonna say this is. The... Or oh, was it there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did, did we win it? <laughs> or was it? Or was there a quiz? Maybe um, somebody else was playing and they won it. Who knows? Who knows? Tune Who in knows? next. Tune in next week to find out. I guess. Um, so yeah, so but one of the one of the things that I think is wrong with it at the moment is so you got GFW that has merged with TNA. Wasn't that some kind of like buy our gold type shit? GFW didn't it become like some kind of weird pyramid scheme? Was it? What? Yeah, no, seriously, like they they used GFW to promote buying gold or some shit. 
<laughs> honest, I'm, honestly, I'm not making this up. It was you. Are you on about the championship belts? No, no, no. Honestly, he used the company as some kind of weird pyramid scheme. No, I think I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Like you... Nancy Gold, but GFW Gold. This is J Jared Gold. Yeah, it was really fucking weird. Like. Mm. It didn't come across as a wrestling promotion after the first couple of months. It was just, oh yeah, here. We're gonna, we're gonna team give up us with some money. We'll give you world. some gold. It was really weird. We're gonna give you a pound coin. That's not worth what? What? Ah, uh, worth <laughs> well, like two p. Yeah. But we'll it leave that really one because this podcast is about TNA. So I'll bring it back. Yeah, but to, TNA yeah. is now Hope Ryan and Sinker having a relationship with well, GFW. Effect, effectively, what they've done is they've got rid of Dixie Carter because she was wanting to run Thank it fuck. her way, and she was basically destroying it. I think yeah. we all agree that she was just fucking yeah. it up. Yes. She was yeah. taking advantage of all the goodwill and I think she pretty much ground it into into dust, threw it out the window and flushed it. Um, Certainly on like her regime, with your I lost interest quite, I wouldn't say quite quickly, but there was a time, I think, after basically yeah. Hulk Hogan left, he quit, and yeah. everyone was leaving. Uh, their biggest stars left. And I don't think their smaller mid card tables were ready to take the main event spot. Yep. So for me, yep. I kind of yep. got bored of the creative team. I got bored of what was going on. They couldn't follow through on the creative team because Dixie Carter was listening to loads of other people who should do it like this, do it like that. And basically she would go, ah, I don't know, I don't know. And I don't un really understand what happened with Billy Corgan because that was a bit of a bit of a mess. Well, he, he bought wanted, lots he of ideas. To, he wanted to buy it and then they basically said, no, you can't buy it. And then he was like, well, see you later, bye. I think. Yeah, but then didn't he put a bid in for NWA? Yes, I saw really? that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 which is weird. But then they crazy. sold it to Owl or Anthem or whatever the fuck it is. But yeah. By the sounds of it, Anthem know how to run sport sporting kind of companies. So yeah, it's almost in safe hands. Almost. <laughs> almost. <Yeah. laughs> Not to say well, it, it is. It's in, but... it's in the hands of a sports a sporting company, yeah. sporting brand company that do that. And I suppose rather they... than a, a rich girl who uses daddy's money to buy what she wants. They've dropped the TNA side of it. They're now just called Impact, aren't they? So Which the I still disagree was... with because. The Which TNA is fair enough because it is TNA. built, yeah, like you said, it's got the equity on it and it's built on that. But I think as a rebranding, actually, just calling it Impact and trying to get the stars, like, I think their biggest thing is their stars come and go. With the exception yeah. of, like, a handful, <clears throat> they're in and out really quickly. Um, yeah. They just need to tie a few people down and hopefully with Anthem behind them and the money, they might be able to do that. But then they cocked, they gave up, a bit of they stability. cocked up monumentally when they, they took over. Because let's face it, they lost the Hardys. Yep. That was, the, for me, last year, that was the best thing on TNA. Yes. Yeah. Bar nothing. That was, that was, it was it. The whole the best things in wrestling, let alone like TNA. TNA. It went mainstream. And let's be honest, TNA isn't mainstream. But the yeah. Hardys bit went mainstream. People yeah. are still doing delete. And I know they're not doing it properly. But they're Looks still getting the delete a bit more like chance. a Nazi salute right now. It, yeah, it, it does. But. It did turn into the only reason I watched TNA was just to see if there would be the Hardys pop up in any segments anywhere. And I just think the way they dealt with that was really bad. Sort of like they're, they're bad mouthing each other on on the internet or whatever it is but then when they had um crazy steven abyss win the titles they just showed up and basically ripped off old footage going oh we won these tag belts in space and time and then somebody went out and said right you know that stuff you've all been tuning in for for the past year yeah that's all crap we yeah. want to do it in the ring You're like okay did the hardies do the right thing by going to wwe yes yeah, yeah. i think as but, long as but creatively i think as long as they finally get the rights to <coughs> the actual the, they will be of, broken they, in yeah, some way shape but form. I think they'll break them up before they do it I don't think they'll be broken as a pair yeah I think, but they originally think they Jeff, broke up separately and fought each other didn't they yeah, I yeah, think yeah. Jeff will get his single It'll push be the retelling again. I think yeah I think Jeff will get his single push and that will cause Matt just to go right fuck this I'm broken again I'm I'm wondering if it was a good idea because you look at that uh, the final deletion and and Apocalypto they would never be able to do that in WWE not even nowhere near and the, no, just the craziness and the zaniness, they'd never let him no, do it in a million I years. I think they could have a budget to do something a hell of a lot better. Right. But the thing is, well, like, WWE just, makes just, movies. Well, this is but the thing. The, we've just had the Bray Wyatt and Randy say, Orton match. Look at that match. Yeah. How shit was that? Yeah, but then that might not have had the input of Orton and Bray in it. That True. might have just been, this is what Apparently, we want. Apparently, yeah. If, it was, um, can yeah. I ask a quick question? Because we all popped when the Hardys come out. And the Hardys yep. were the Hardy boys, as we all knew and loved them growing up with the yep. uh, Edge and Christian. Don't Reborn. Yeah. How much more, Ollie, especially you, because we know, for example, on the podcast, I choose to cheat, yada, yada, yada. How much more would you have popped if they were still broken? See, oh, I'm, I'm not I think so... I would have popped a hell of a lot more I if they I were broken. If like, they I would have. If, like, especially if but they had, I don't had, think like, they could have done that. I, I don't think I would have popped because it wouldn't make sense in TNA. In, yeah, in, it wouldn't in make WWE sense in WWE storylines. So I would, would pop big for it personally, but... I can understand why they didn't because I, will, I think retelling the breaking story is yeah, going to be awesome. Yeah, I will pop for it if it happens, yeah. but having them come out to a new audience <clears> that maybe not all of them have seen T uh, Impact TNA, I, I don't, it wouldn't have made sense for them to come back as broken. 
Because that's the story that you need to be that needs telling, right? I think you're about to make the list because he's got his pen out to make a point, <laughs> <laughs> and you're just not letting him get worded. I do disagree, um, because with their who? whole point with you saying that, that no, they should not come back because um, their whole point of um, going around the world winning all these tag team championships and they're Quest here for the gold. big one. Yeah, WWE exactly. WWE Tag Team Championships coming out at WrestleMania yep. uh, in their uh, in their broken gimmick. I would have just loved. I would have loved. I yeah, can't. That I would have really loved good. that. But they couldn't have brought any of the titles with them. Yeah. You know. No, the yeah, WWE, no. It's, I, I get that point. I agree. They're with here you. That to get the big awesome. one, and unfortunately, they got the big one, but not in the gimmick. So to me, they haven't quite got the big one. Mm. Yeah. I know what you mean, mm. but that's a WWE thing, and this yeah. is about Impact. TNA Impact Wrestling! Um, so, um, <laughs> Orlando. one thing I'll always mention about TNA is I wish they had pay-per-views, because there's no direction yeah. right now. There's no there's no one thing where you go, right, we have to see what's happening with this story. That's like. it. Like, there, there's, no con- there's no big conclusion. There's no big crescendo. They've got themed... Well, I mean, I, they, they might... But I don't, they've got Slammiversary coming up, but is that going to be... that's going to be the only one they do. It's going to be Slammiversary Slam and that, Bad for Glory, isn't even, it? But still, still having two is better than none. Is that going to... Is Slammiversary going to be in the Impact Zone, or is it going to be held on location? I hope I, they don't do Bound for Glory in uh, Japan again. I hope that, was, that, was, that was, I think, the beginning of the downfall Do you know what they me. could do? Mm. They should genuinely do it in the UK. Yeah. If they put a little bit of effort back into it, they could rekindle the scene over here because some of the events that Ollie and I went to because we've been to about seven yeah. haven't we and it was only the last one that we really didn't give a shit because the, the last year they but just they destroyed didn't it. look like they gave and a they shit. didn't give a shit either it was just it was really really no, cool they're not getting paid <clears throat> no I just think it was the, the storylines weren't that good they just threw in some random UK wrestlers for the sake of it it wasn't it was like it wasn't thought out it's like oh we've bought all these UK wrestlers which you're going to watch for four weeks and then never see again because they don't have contracts so if, if we are wrestling uh, fans in Britain we've already seen them on the indie scene we know what they do we've exactly it was kind times. of there was just no real reason for them being there other than they were UK talent and I'm mm. not saying that's a bad thing but it was um, it was too watered down there was too much of it mm. in the show it, it lost its um, speciality bit and then I guess if you look at what the, what the WWE have done with the UK tournaments I think TNA were trying to get in there beforehand noticed how hot it was over here yeah but they, they, they just they, they just they burnt out yeah. the goodwill. I've, I've said it on some other podcast that we might be getting in the future. But, <laughs> but that TNA app basically going, oh, UK fans are brilliant. Oh, you'll pay five pound a month. No, no we won't, won't because the product's not good enough. We can't yeah. afford it anyway. <laughs> well, it's just it was just not good enough to warrant five pounds a month, was it? You just wouldn't do it. Stop take you know they've burnt all their goodwill. They have to start from scratch and build it back up do, and do, get people interested. Do you know anyone with that app? I mean, do no. we know the content? Aren't there only like two no, people in no. the world that have it? Because, and I, I mean, the, the this shows you how confidence, how confident they were in it. Josh Mashmoosh, Mash- 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 yeah, John Mashmoosh, him who went tough enough. I oh, know he's really. He's, oh, he's doing my head in. Oh, it, oh no, his gimmick at the minute. His gimmick's in there, yeah. but he said on a live streaming thing because he was asked, um, "Is it going to be a free trial for a month?" And they didn't go with it. That just basically shows you how confident you are in your your product. Whereas yeah. the WWE go, "Not tried it before." Come and have a go for a month because we know you're going to buy it. They gave WrestleMania away WWE for like yeah. the first year. You yeah, did it this year as it, well. Was yeah. it this year as well? They yeah, gave it every away. year yeah. they've done it since. Well, you get, you get a month free trial of whatever's whatever falls within that month. month you get. Yeah. All you have yeah. to do is just change your email. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and got credit card emails. Killer <laughs> kill Carl <laughs> Brand one. Yeah, yeah, Killer kill Carl <laughs> Brand two. At Peanut Hotmail. Brand. Poppy's got so many credit card bills. So yeah, I think they have to sort of, but by the looks of looking at their Twitter, I think Slammiversary is going to be pay-per-view, which means it's going to be separate from Impact, which is good. They so have to be careful because the pay-per-view model is dead. True. But if they if they build a good enough show, people and set the price That's right. That's what they have to do. Is yeah. They're going to have to, it's, they can't be greedy on it. You can't do your $50 or whatever it is for Precisely. WrestleMania. Is- they're going to have to go for 15 this is the thing you just said. If they've only got Slammiversary and Bound for Glory as their two pay per at least they've got. Or to me, that's better than nothing. Does that mean essentially they're going to have them six months apart? So each feud is six months, or are they close um, together? Well, so Slam- feuds- Slammiversary is coming up June, I think it said it was, and okay. then um, Bound for Glory is always October. So yeah, okay. that's a bit unbalanced. So maybe, yeah. but maybe that's just two for now, and then they'll put some more. Like, I think, yeah, I think if they work, they'll, yeah, add they'll bring in. lockdown back or. Because... I do lightly for lockdown. That was my favourite. Yeah. TNA pay per view at the time, but I hate it when it's just an episode. That's it. Yeah, yeah but like, it, well, we, we were there for a taping of. We of, yeah, we were going to say yeah, we saw one, and it didn't feel any different. Who was in it? Was it Kurt? 
Um, I know they had basically had load, yeah, because they had every match in a steel cage, didn't they? There was there was Trevor Lee and uh, I heard that somebody Tiger. hates steel cage matches. I don't know who that was. No, I, I can't stand. <laughs> I hate steel cage matches. No, no, no. I, I hate steel cage matches that are built. <laughs> I'm as, sorry, guys. That are builders being locked in there with someone when you can walk out the door. I love the idea of a steel cage match where it's pin, submission, or escape over the top. What about when... None of this door shit. No, what about when the big show put JBL through the... That, that was fucking genius. Right, okay. Fine. That was genius because, as I said, he went... So, okay, right, so... So two, you like steel cages? Yeah, no, no, yeah exactly no, what I'm no. trying to get. To. So, uh, no, no Escape 2005. I think he's confused. No, no Escape 2000. And in fact, actually, that's a fair point. Like, that's the only time where the door stipulation has ever actually been all right. I guess, but they have barbed they wire that. on the that's top it. of so the cage. So 2005, no way out. JBL versus Big Show for the championship inside a, a, bar a, a, a barbed wire steel cage where yep. the top was basically wrapped with barbed wire. So you and couldn't go up And the door was locked, so they wouldn't let him out either. Was the door locked as the well? The door was locked. They wouldn't let him out the door. The only way out was over the top. No, but, no, but you know, that was the, the stipulation. No, no, I, no, I don't. I, don't. <laughs> I swear did, did, did Big Show rip the tennis? door off? No, he didn't at all. Because what it, what it was, was, um, yeah, so uh, Big Show chokes oh, Sam's, got him. Oh, chokes Sam's JBL through the canvas, yeah. and everyone's like, oh, he's dead. And then he walks over to the door, slowly starts walking down the stairs, JBL's. the ring bell goes, and it's like, oh, yeah, Big Show. And they go, and the winner is JBL. And Big Show's like, what the fuck? And then they show the alternate angle, and he's crawled underneath the ring, and, and he's, he's made it to the, the outside, just before Big Show put his foot off of the steps. I think this that is was... the main problem that we've got, is that we would rather talk about anything other than <laughs> impact. <TNA. laughs> like just, it's, like, it's, like, it's, like a, it's like a donkey and a carrot. You dangle getting angry at cage matches in front of me. I'm going to go for it. Um, one thing I also want to add, so the roster, <laughs> the newbies. There's a lot yep. of newbies on there from GFW, but they haven't got rid of any of the crap from the old roster so you've almost got it's like WCW and WWE coming together like the invasion you've got, yeah, that's it. it's almost like that and you've got so many people vying for matches on a two hour show like, I still don't think I've seen Eli Drake wrestle once Kai do you think <laughs> they because I know to get promotion Jeff Jarrett went back with GFW do yeah, you yeah. think in hindsight they should have left that angle for now which angle? They've already the, done the, the whole, GFW yeah, angle. Yeah, the whole invasion. Because they did That's it. That's yeah. GFW, yeah. Come that on, lasted us. two episodes. Yeah. yeah it was actually, wank. Yeah, it Pointless. was rubbish. And they only Pointless. did it cause, so Jeff Jarrett could be in the Hall of Fame. And yeah. didn't they do it like one of them was a King of the Mountain match or something? Yeah, yeah for the King of the Mountain Championship. Yeah. Like, like, why did they bring that back? And that's now because Jeff Jarrett was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the King of the Mountain. So he could win it. Yeah. He should stay away from TNA. This is why Kai quit. You can't get a word in Sorry, this way. But in hindsight, I'm saying, do you think they should have played that angle now, but yes. lasted yes. it longer? Yes, 100%. Yeah. And maybe, fuck Impact. Let's get rid of Impact. And GFW take up. Well, there's something a, like that. Or there's Impact. A what they should like, have done is announce that they were merging them and then have... Uh, not I don't think it should have announced. Yeah, no, no. Announce and merge them. Have two authority figures, one from each. None of this... There's four authority figures at the minute. It's too many. No one knows who's doing what. And basically go, we are only going to have one world title we're going to have one tag team titles. At some point, we're going to have to merge these titles. And then you have side feuds going along saying, right, you shouldn't be world title of um, TNA. I'm better than you. I'm going to take this and going to win it for the company. Before you build towards that sort of unification match is yeah. at a, well, an event of some kind. At the moment, Magnus, Nick Aldis, whatever he's... Because he was Nick Aldis in GFW, but yeah. in TNA he's Magnus. So he's got... well. I haven't so quite seen the main work? event, but he had the GFW bow, and he's saying that that should be a golden ticket for him to get a championship <laughs> shot at Lashley. So, like you say, it's kind of his that's it, and that to me, that to me, that kind of undermines it. That's him saying, "Yeah, this I, I'm using this to get me yeah. somewhere else." Exactly. It's leveraged, which yeah. they shouldn't necessarily. So it's basically have. making out the GFW is the lower brand, which I guess it is. Hasn't got the prestige, the, the history, the. Well, yeah, yeah but that's, that's really. my point. So you, you merge them together. So this is how they do it. You have the TNA title, you have your GF, whatever it is, title, and the, the winner is the Impact Champion. Yeah. Yeah. Done. New brand, and that gets new belt, gets rid of the TNA, gets rid of all the other stuff. Yeah, that works. It's not hard to do. And you could also build up to a pay-per-view like you want, but you could also that's have it. those fights going on saying, the, you know, um, Alberto Del Tuato should not be on TV fight. I'm just um, tweeting uh, Jeff Jarrett, by the way. Just... <laughs> <laughs> he did... Um... Don't worry, mate. We've got the sword for you. Just come and listen to the podcast. What worries me is that they're going to be running that world of sport as well. And I think oh. they could just screw that up monumentally. The, the thing I... is, I think that's gone down the pan already. I think that's already in jeopardy. 
Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Double Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Yeah, J E double P. Jeopardy. <laughs> it's, it's already it's already under threat because I don't think because it was meant to be out already and mm-hmm. it is. It was meant Is to be released in March. Soon. That's it. But then again, it was it was meant to be soon, and it's still nothing's going on. So well, that's I, what happens when you put TNA in charge of it. No, nah, no. Nah, I think what happened. I, what I think what's happened is, is Jeff Jarrett started that before he owned TNA uh, Impact again. Promised him one thing, and then re- then he's gone and got Impact back, and it's like we can't do two things at once. World of Sport have given him a stake, and Impact have gone. Here's a bigger stake. World of Sport should just should just carry on without. I mean, it's nice that Jeff Jarrett wants to get involved. Yeah. But to me, and they're also like... bringing in Lashley. Sorry to interrupt. They're bringing in Lashley for World of Sport, and you're just like, all what? you're going to do. Are they? It was an, I'm sure I read it. Yeah. They're announcing I, 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 that Lashley's coming that. in for the World of Sport. And you're seeing it Lashley versus Grado. I'm sure we must have seen that on some TNA program. We they have, are just yeah. going to destroy him and World Mahabali, of Sport. Sure. And it's, they shouldn't. Keep them separate. I, I think for me, what I'm thinking is Jeff Jarrett's like, oh, WWE are doing a, a, a weekly show in Norwich? Well, I'm going to do a weekly one in Preston. Fuck you! And like he's almost trying to it's get typical ahead of TNA, them before, though, yeah. isn't it? It's like, ooh, a bandwagon. CM Punk's CM Punk. CM, <laughs> CM Punk's in MMA. Let's release a DVD. Uh, oh, Jeff Hardy's doing this. We've got footage. Look at this. Like so AJ almost... debuted at the Rumble. They released a three DVD set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like they're always a step behind, and they're, they're reacting to WWE rather than just concentrating on themselves. That's, That's it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, ignore WWE and do your own thing. That's it. Which right, is the underground. Yeah, Luke, see, Jeff, look, Luke, and look Jeff. how look how, how good that's done for him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They're on a mid-season break, which I think suits them. People are not getting tired of them having to tune in every week because they have got this mid-season break, and it begins at the end of May, and it starts back up again. And it's also influencing mainstream. I mean, look at the Lucha exactly. Dragons. They've um, in WWE or what was Lucha Dragons. They now are mimicking some of the outfits and stuff that and you would fact, never have seen in WWE before. This week on TNA, there was no in fact last week on TNA there was a, an angle shot in the clubhouse inverted brackets of um of lax and it had a very lucha underground feel to it and you got to think that's conan conan's involvement because mm. conan was involved yeah, in lucha yeah. so it's almost like again they're stealing other people's ideas rather the thing that put tna on the map was the fact they innovated they they did different things like ultimate x and they they didn't just have the high they, flyers they they invested in them properly the rather than really just put them out really stupid bit is they they got successful by doing exactly what NXT is doing now yeah they developed their own talent they went around the indies and poached some of the best people in AJ Styles and Samoa Joe who could put on really great matches had yeah. a little bit of name value and draw value and they started putting on shows that's exactly what NXT is doing and the problem is that they had all this talent and they didn't know what to do with it well they did they did obviously back in the, in the, in the start then you bring in Dixon, and I think I, I mean I, that's a, a brilliant point. I think when they really started lifting off for them was when they bring in Angle, Kevin Nash, oh, Booker T. When Angle debuted, that was brilliant. Yeah, because tell Dudley Boys, and that's the thing. So they they, they, they went over the top with it. They started relying it. too heavily on that's it. That's exactly it, yeah, yeah. what caused what WCW to there, fail. Was getting what you're saying WWE there guys. to me sounds like a WWE graveyard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which, it which doesn't it was. sound like. But then, it uh, was. Well, it wasn't with it Kurt like Angle. Kurt Angle was hit. different because Kurt Angle could still go. Yeah, he was drugged up or whatever. But it wasn't the whole show. wasn't about X W W stars. Yeah, that's when they started getting too many in, and yeah. it became, became WCW again. That's where it, they yeah. go, this is where good wrestlers go to die. But that, cause but, yeah, okay. e- ECW was known like that for a while, and it was a place that the WWE guys used to go, like the old guys. So. Uh, like pre but before they, it got really big mm. there was a lot of, of XWB guys that went there to reinvent themselves basically um, and I think that's what TNA turned into but like you say they they, they well, that's what they, 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 WWE overly rely on TNA the old guys TNA would benefit from essentially being NXT yeah so yeah. no so essentially being bought out by WWE and become a feeder company um I would have said go along the lines of NXT, forget about the old guys, but be a riskier NXT that does things like final uh, final deletion and things like that. Try the crazy matches like the reverse battle royal, like uh, like, like like the <laughs> Dixie yeah, Land. Right, no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Ollie on this. Sorry, I know Kai's different because it's different. It needs to be different, right? It, they they used to be happy to try things, yeah. which was cool, and they would see them through. Now it's just kind of like let's throw everything at it. Oh, that bit's worked. Let's go with that. Yeah. And then they ignore the rest. Sheer panic. It is. It's just sheer panic. What I think TNA might... Uh, d- I, obviously, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know the contract reasons and yada, yada, yada about it. I think TNA helped them really get off the map. They need more of the Bullet Club. Or just the Bullet Club altogether. Would well, you know what they really could do? They could actually sort out something with the Hardys. And this sounds really stupid, but why don't they go, 
All right, we if they do own it, I know it's going to be a legal battle, but just say if um, TNA owns that broken gimmick, why don't they say to WWE, okay, you can have it. Here's some footage to do a proper DVD on the backstory of it and stuff like that. Get some money from that. Because let's face it, they can't use that gimmick. That gimmick is Matt Hardy. There's, there's nothing they yeah, can yeah. do from it. So let's get some money from it. Let's get some maybe a little bit of recognition. You know, the bottom of that a DVD thing, it's um, like courtesy of TNA on each of the bits of the footage and stuff. Get some recognition and use that and just sort of go, look, we're being the bigger people. Yeah. Here we've got some money from it. Let's use this to get some get some decent names and put on a good show. The people in charge do seem pretty petty with yeah, stuff like that. They it do. is all very much, oh, we're protecting our brand, but you're damaging the company at the same time. Oh, you're looking like dicks. I, I think that's the wrestling industry altogether, though. <laughs> to, be, to be honest. Fair enough. <laughs> I grant you, but they are looking like dicks at the moment because it's yeah. that all the the fans want them to be broken they're not going to be broken in tna that bridge has been burnt yeah. well, i think um, just didn't wwe go to tna and say uh we'd like to see the copyrights for the broken thing and tna were just like uh no yeah which just makes me think well you don't have them then i don't think they've got, it's no, not they, they file for them in like march or something like that um and they said i think the contract is that if you come up with something while you're working for the the company it's the property of the company so it's like joe boggs going to work he's come up with this brilliant idea makes the company millions but the company now oh, yeah. owns it yeah um and i think the argument that matt hardy is using is the fact that they weren't paid for elements of the contract or something like that but and also therefore the team had broken the contract and it was no longer valid but also if it's creative control surely the person that comes up with it mm. is the if person they're under contract the best part is uh, tna so. they belong it owns by them. i think the best part is that tna never actually wanted it in the first place they went off and did it on their own they financed it themselves that's Jeremy it yeah Boris did it all yeah. himself and they basically had to like none of the tna management actually knew what billy what corbin did it, Billy, okay. uh, Billy Corgan's gone on the record as saying that um, he was told the idea, he didn't understand it, but he had faith in the Hardys to do yeah, it because yeah. they're not going to risk their so entire it, so careers and reputation on doing it. it. Yeah, so, exactly. they, so TNA put nothing into it, they just gave him a TV time. And which, and it which is brilliant, that's the thing, and they weren't, they weren't, they, they, it was basically all or nothing. So what we've learned is that TNA didn't have anything to do with it, and yeah, it did yeah. really well. <laughs> that's it, brilliant. And, and now they're trying to claim it's their own, like, and so you can't have it, which, yeah, it is a bit stupid. And the real loser of all this. Is Max or Hardy? Yeah. I mean, he's the, he's the best <laughs> he, wrestler he, of his generation. <laughs> I challenge you to name one wrestler who, of his generation who's better. Of his generation. Of his yeah. generation, none. Peanut. Peanut. <laughs> 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 but and, and what sort of push is Max going to get in WWE now? They've gone there. I will come up through NXT. Oh, yeah, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you know, he's got a wrestling heritage. He's going to be bought in, bought up nice and gently as soon yeah. as he's old enough to get a license. Yeah, okay. Um, well, uh, can, can, you, yeah. The real loser was the. Senor second, Benjamin. No. Oh. Was the second deletion when they just got, yeah, great, that was great, guys, do it again. But they did it for the whole episode, that one. No. No. I'm on about the. I like that. Apocalypse. I'm on about the guy who had his car. Jacked and you guys said he got oh, raped. The guy that got raped. Well, come on, right? He was in a car. All he showed was his trousers around his yeah. ankles. He got he got raped. Yeah, he got. That's a, what he it got was. Sexually assaulted. Why else would Rosemary put out? Like say, Rosemary, uh, to, for people at home who don't know what the hell we're talking about, Rosemary and Abyss and Crazy Steve basically pulled over a pickup truck. That's right. On the yes. side of the road in the middle of the night, and at the end of the scene, the driver was left with his trousers around his ankles. They they drive. They, they, you yeah. see them driving down the road, and the guy, the guy who had the truck. Laying looking, in the road. Looking like he'd been sexually assaulted. <laughs> Why else would his trousers be around his ankles? But I do like how Belt I'm gonna assume, assume it's Rosemary. Put the underwear back on. <laughs> <laughs> Had a little time now, dear. Now here you go. Kiss at heart, she's a kid. Oh no, that's because WWE owns rated R. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> owns something. Uh, so I make... like that though. That was good. And again, I don't what, know the how much... <laughs> <laughs> No, well, it, was, was, it did try to stay away different. from Scott's search <laughs> history. <Christ. laughs> no, but that show was good. It was something different. Yeah, it was yeah. weird. It was out of the impact zone. I'm so sick of the impact yeah. zone. Oh, you, they should start charging fucking entry as well because you're just getting non wrestling fans turning up for, oh, yeah, let's give this, let's give it a go. And they haven't got a clear what's going on. They don't know what to cheer I for. I guess they're seeing Mickey Mouse or something. That's it. I think <laughs> they're also going in because of the old people. I mean, we. Ollie and I know somebody that was in Orlando who went to some of the tapings and only went there because they liked the Hardy Boys in WWE and so they went to see him in TNA and that's the only reason they went in. They didn't go in for TNA. 
Um, but then in that case, is TNA not, like we said before, just running off those older names yeah. and that nostalgia yeah, feel? Yeah, oh, we we so, spoke about that in another podcast, was the, the big names getting people in the door and then using your, your unheard of guys to but there's too keep many coming back. There's too many yeah, big yeah. names. It's too top heavy. Like A, Kurt Angle, he was there with like Samoa Joe, AJ, so that's brilliant. And then you got Hall and Nash, you stop bringing in Hogan and more and more people, it turns into then, a retirement home. At the, at the moment, apart from Del Boringo, um, Alberto, apart from him, that's the fucking the page. Apart from him, how, <laughs> oh. how many, how many other? Ex, I'm just going to sorry, Ollie, what? How, how many, how many other big WWE names are there now? Ashley, Who? Lashley. Lashley, rather. Lashley, yeah, was he a big? Is well, he was. A, go, oh my was god, I love um, Ashley in, in well, WWE. Well, he was with the president of the USA when they shaved Vincent Mann's head. Yeah, but that doesn't that's mean he was a big. He's like he's not going to come into anybody's discussions when you talk about like uh like the the, the what is it the Matt greatest Rushmore, of all time that's it. he's not yeah. greatest wwe wrestlers he is not on that list he's mm. been way better no no, no i don't disagree impact. with you I'm just saying. So I, I don't think he's i don't think he can be considered a, a big wwe guy i mean i don't think there's a lot of there's a few people that have been in wwe and come back but there's no one really left that's a big so this is surely their time now to build on their on the new people <laughs> apart from cody rhodes Apart from Cody Rose. <laughs> Cody Rose. Sorry, I've just remembered one of my answers to the quiz that I was going to do and I edited myself. I'll tell you later. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, I don't know what quiz you're on about. Uh, <laughs> you're, on about you're on about you wanting... <laughs> Fair! What is a good boy? You know what? I really wish I could go back and change some of the scores. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we can all have a pop of Kai now. Yeah! <laughs> or can we do it in the future? I don't know. Luke, I don't know. Anyway, what Luke, I was Luke say if is, you know what's good for you, keep just I'm keeping quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you guys were on about you wanting um, to be out of the impact zone. The yeah. impact zone is stale. Yeah. Is it though? So, yes. what, what can. <laughs> you're saying yes. So, I'm saying, look at Luke Chandra Ground. Why is that? Because th they are constantly in the temple, as yep. they like yeah, to call yeah. it. Right, so, yep. what can TNA do? Because obviously they're going to be in the impact zone all the time. What can they do? To mimic in a way what Lucha Underground is the, doing with the, the thing is with the temple it's a wrestling crowd a, a paying yep. wrestling crowd mm -hmm. and the temple and they're also by... signing contracts to, so that they don't ruin anything there's no spoilers going yep. out or anything like that because it's a TV show so it's it's filmed in advance and the temple completely buys into the Aztec feel of it it's part, the, the 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 venue is part of the gimmick the actual what I like is that the venue is part of the match as well the ring isn't. It doesn't go outside of the ropes. It goes outside of the, you know the walls. Is yeah. Where the actual wrestling, they go in inside out, back to front. They're in the crowd. They're having wrestling like proper indie wrestling. Whereas I think TNA with Impact need to kind of open up a little bit more because they're trying to be like WWE when they're going to stick it in the ring, stick it you know, with the crowd. Sometimes, sometimes go in the crowd, take someone's beer or whatever. I think they need to open it up. But a I think what more, they need to do is more they do it in the WWE. Impact Zone. Because it's cheap for filming. Yeah, that's the reason they do it's it. It's a good soundstage. It is. They they need to do something so they can start to draw a crowd. And when they start to draw a crowd, take it out of that thing. Because I do think it's stale and it's just been it's Very. been done to death. There's, it's not really changed. Take it like when they do it in the UK, when they because they can actually draw. They they would film what two episodes, sometimes three episodes. Then we got four at one. Point. We got four at, at one point. It, yeah. Um, and then all of a sudden you've got a proper wrestling crowd that's paid, that's hot for it. To, to be on your TV show and that makes such a difference to people who are bored out of their socks a bigger Titan Tron I, have, um, I think WWE has rights to that maybe they could lend it to Impact <laughs> but <clears throat> no you know what I mean like just try and get out there and get real fans in there rather than just people who just happen to be passing by because mm. mm. you, if you look in the crowd you see some of the same people oh, every, week yeah, on week yeah. but that's also because they film chunks in one go so Oh yeah, yeah, I get that. But if you're if you're in Orlando and you've got nothing else to do for a week, go to you're every then single tape. Going into like smaller promotion territory, yeah, um, yeah. like we all we all know that there's some smaller promotions where a couple of people will loyally fo follow them around, but it's really only just a couple of people that's doing it when they want hundreds of people following them around. Um, and so create that diversity, create different crowd reactions. Mm. Personally, I think they need to uh, get more indie guys in as like one-offs. 
bigger, bigger people. Ah, but see, but you see, the one offs we, 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 talk, we were talking about this now, I think they need to stop the one offs. I think mm. they need to start I was just saying, if we you need get continuity. The, if you get yeah. the one offs in, you end up becoming well, something you, like WCPW, they also need where to you end up building storylines around. Look how well they are actually doing for themselves. I know they're paying a lot of money. And I think yeah, that's fair, but, but they're not they're making they're not making TV shows. They're yeah, well, they're internet pay per views, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, yeah they're just um, they're just putting good shows like they do a but, weekly show, but then that's not as big yeah. as I think. Coming back to that is because they fill it in chunks, they don't build the storylines properly. So mm. you have so for example, one week you can have um, somebody win a world title, and then they're not on the next show. You, you know, the, admittedly, that's working with Brock Lesnar, or uh, arguably working. But have that, you know, if you build it up so that different things lead to main events, you can have them on, on the same show, even if you're filming it in a block. Like if you have an interview segment, you can have that on the same show as the, as the match. The crowd will hopefully be hot for it because they've seen what's happening. But then you just space it out on the shows a little bit more, so that it, it builds up gradually rather than just go, look at this. Oh, they're not on anymore. Mm. You've just bought in to the, the winner of that match, and then they're not on TV the next week. But then isn't it up to the creative team to get them invested into maybe an actual storyline that they can? invested yeah but know, i don't think they're giving them storylines yeah. hmm? i don't think they're giving them storylines to do they're not they're just relying on the x division doing flippy d shit yeah and there's it, no real it's just um it. what, what was it called uh spot monkeys yeah oh, like the the bucks of youth the bucks of youth <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I think we we are we happy it's back on TV? Is it a good thing it's back on like well for us at least in the UK? I think it's a good thing it's back on TV. It's, it's a good thing because it gives us choice. Yeah. Are we going to watch it? Is a different question. I, I think I, at the, the moment and, I'm not. And actually, since they brought it back, I've watched kind of I've watched more TNA and I've actually started watching more WWE than I was. So I'm actually watching that's quite more hard for you, isn't it? When, I, I, when, <laughs> when the man that's going through every pay per view. When, <laughs> yeah. when when um, when TNA went off the air, I've kind kind of stopped watching everything. Literally, I just stopped watching wrestling. But now TNA's back on the air. I'm like, oh, let's start watching. And I'm, I'm now watching all my Raw catch-ups. I'm watching NXT again. I'm watching Impact again. It's like, I, I, I want to see different things. And that's what I've got now. I'll give them a chance. Yeah. But at the moment, they've not done anything that's made me go, I've missed anything. I think they've missed out on... I like what they're doing with Ethan Carr turning him heel. And I've said this, yeah, I've said yeah. this before. They should have had, when they got rid of Dixie, something along the lines of saying... Ethan Garter, you're no longer protected by your aunt, and turn him into some kind of stone cold, stone cold character. They yeah. could easily go, you may have a contract for X number of times, so you can't be fired, because then that explains why he's there and it sounds legitimate. Uh, we're going to make it put him in the shittiest matches going, um, but then he wins and he, you know, he does whatever the hell he wants. Um, that'd be brilliant. Get new titles. So you imagine this, right? They do that merger thing. You've got the Impact title, and he does a Stone Cold on it. He wins that Impact title, and they want him to hand it over. And he goes over, hands over the Impact title, and whoever it is, whoever's in charge, walks off and he goes, just so you know, I'm not giving you the championship. I'm still your championship. Go and get my TNA belt. Boom. And he's doing the TNA thing, saying, oh, Dixie Carter's brilliant. Yeah. And you suddenly got a really good angle. You get, you're smiling, thinking, actually, but that's not a bad idea. But the thing is, that's the thing, but, uh, and this is the problem, TNA needs to start taking more risks by doing just, I want to say cool shit. Just I know what we can stop do. Stop worrying about stuff like like trying to live up to WWE and just go back to doing cool, fun stuff. Put us in charge. Yeah. We could book this shit. Who is that guy on what we watched today that I was saying was Marcus, uh, Spanish Marcus Bagwell or Mexican Marcus Bagwell? Oh, Christ. Um... Have him as, as a... Marcus Dunno, Bagwell, something I junior. am a tag team champion. <laughs> he did look he, like, he looked like, like he Bagwell. whipped his trousers off midway through the match. <laughs> he was horrible. You could build it. up to Marcus Bagwell coming in and being beaten by but him. But this is the thing, like those, he, all four of those wrestlers in that match we watched earlier, I have no idea who they are. Really, and Wikipedia, that's I think that's part of a crossover thing they've got going with the Spanish company or a Mexican yeah. company. But they do seem to be focusing on the south of the border. Yeah. I mean, with Trump they're in power, they're going to block a... that with a wall. Yeah. It's a <laughs> waste of time. Yeah. Are they trying to tap into a slightly different market from WWE then? Well, I think I WWE is struggling with they're, the Mexican market, aren't they're they? They're going to India like in a few weeks to do some live tapings as well. What, TNA? TNA? Yeah, and that'll be the, fir that's the first did, company did... to film, uh, uh, film wrestling in, uh, in India. But then haven't WWE just released like an Indian... Network or something like yeah, I think it has. So this isn't that why Jinder's like, doing that thing? Yeah, that's oh, why they're pushing Jinder because so they're going to go they're over there. reacting to WWE again yeah. and not yeah. doing. Oh, you fucking idiots! Yeah, I think that's, see, the that's whole what, push for that's Jinder what is because the whole the whole thing about releasing TV show in the UK and wanting to be involved with World of Sport, you've got to think that the W either the WWE turned around and went, "Crikey, that World of Sport thing's doing pretty good." 
we're going to nail it, and they did it in like a month. Yeah. We know that's not true because they have to go through all the health requirements of yeah, WWE. Yeah, yeah. They had a plan in place. Like, is no one going to react to uh, Luke just winding up a close line from hell? <laughs> <laughs> My Luke, shoulder's hurting, all right? <laughs> Luke's spiraling his arm around. Uh, but yeah, that's just. Do you know what I mean? They were going, oh, they reacted to us, but did they? Because yeah. it's not. I mean, let's face it. They put not, a lot of well, equity into Paige and her family, so they were already aware of the UK scene. I, I, th- I, th- I think that actually that TNA started off the WWE. Because look at boot camp. How, how long ago was boot camp? The first one. Now we're going back three or four or five years. They picked up on on how hot the UK was then, and it's, it's snowballs. So actually, I think TNA kick started the whole UK thing. To be honest, if I'm if I'm being honest, but they couldn't maintain it. I would say that TNA kick started the whole women's revolution. Because they were doing yeah. fantastic yeah, 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 yeah. matches. And then, like you said earlier, um, to be fair, the knockouts, Hogan came in and yeah. said the knockouts need to be wearing underwear to do a match and kind of destroyed it. Yeah. Whereas like, they were having brilliant Hogan's matches. old mentality, uh, yeah. isn't it? That's why they need to stay away from the older older guys. I do yeah. love the fact that ODB's back. Oh, Bam! Bam! <laughs> I'm a classy beat. Have you met ODP at some point? Yes, yes. I've got a photo with her somewhere, signed. Did I get it to sign it? Okay. No, I'm really happy with himself. <laughs> no, no, because... No, she's Personal crisis. No, it's not... She, I don't... I don't... Don't like Katie Seaman. I'm, 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 I'm a fan of her because she's different, not because... Not for the because same reason. Because she's different. Not for... Not because... Not in a... I don't like her in the same way I like Alexa Bliss. I couldn't right. give a fuck about Alexa Bliss's character. I'll say, why is it? <laughs> what's the reason you like Alexa Bliss? Um, she has a good in-ring style. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming into her own. That's why I like her. <laughs> As opposed to you. That was, no. <laughs> that, that was a reference to a previous yeah, podcast. Yeah, find that, that on was... um, what podcast was that? Alexa Bliss yeah. podcast. Um, Alexa Mania. That's not a bad idea. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Sorry, lads, we're opening a can of worms here. Sorry. Shout out, Mac, book it. Do. Stag do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad TNA's back. Um, I'm glad we've got the likes of LAX back, even if it's not the same people. I'm glad we've got Matt Morgan back, actually, because I like I Matt Morgan. I would be, but Crimson. why wasn't he on the show? That's, that's the point. He's been on one, but he's it's been on one because no continuity. They've got so many people to fit on. This is the thing. So they're doing two it like promotions into one. That's it. So it's almost like one week these guys are going, next week these guys are going, third week could be these guys. But who do then they have? That they have equity the in at the moment. Who do they have? Who is worth putting on TV? Quick, let's just do a Magnus. list. Oh, Magnus. 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 Yeah. Magnus is half good. I would, EC3. EC3. I, w- I, would, yes. I, would, I would. I would say Alberto. El Patron. Look, even though Mexican we hate him side, he's, yeah. he's the biggest star, he's their biggest star oh, yeah, well, right now yeah, four. so they need to push One, him four. but push him as a fucking heel because he's not a good guy no one wants to cheer for the guy everybody hates him we Ugh. get it so he should be in some kind of match where everybody beats the shit out of him he should be I would love the person who booked that so we've got basically we've done four or five that's my point yeah and they've, we're saying the roster's overcrowded and we've got about five people we can name that's because they haven't had that they need, they need to move forward build, any other build these people up <laughs> exactly <laughs> But they don't. So those five people that we've named, they should be on every show at the moment. Uh, but would that what, not to get bring too much? Because look at is look, look at their champion. Yeah, well, one yeah. of them. Yeah. But right, look, okay. look at NXT. The, it's it's almost like every other week is different people. They kind of yeah. yeah. So but again, and when, and it's filmed in batches. And when they're not then in, again, but then when they're not on, you say next week it'll be this guy. But so then you're again, reminded with that. NXT, a it's only an hour. True. It's not yeah. a two, yeah. two, three hour show. So it's only an hour. So trying to get everyone in in that hour is going to be tight anyway. True. And also. Even though, yes, it is its own brand, it's still essentially their development. Yeah. And that's what WD have, you know, still aware yeah, that branded, we are yes. still developing people and this is what this is. Whereas TNA is essentially a full-blown product. But also yeah. you have a backroom backroom segment. So I forget who those um, two Australian girls are in NXT. Yeah, yeah, them too. Yeah, they're not on every week, but they're, they're not wrestling every True. week, but they're on every week. But then look at uh, Rockstar Spud. Fuck, why didn't I say Rockstar Spud? Um, Rockstar Rock Spud is the best thing they've got. The Those fucking segments about why I was beaten up with a hammer. I tell you how what, how entertaining are they? Because Rockstar they're obviously Spud not is the MVP of that company. Yes. Every piece of shit that they've given him, he has done to the best of his ability. That's it. Um, and I think I think they need to do more of that stuff. That although actually one thing I want I want to do is can, can can someone take the, the hammer away from TNA? The hammer is that that one weapon has been involved in at least. Three or four, and it's not believable, now. is it? That's Let's it. And be that's honest. the thing. Who hits like it's like the sledgehammer? Yeah, you know, he at least covers the end when Triple H hits people. But well, this, say, when I've been hammer, down the wall and ho- I've never held the hammer with the top. <laughs> <smash it down. laughs> never. The, the point never. being is, 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 it's just the way it's done. It's just not believable. You want to suspend disbelief a little bit. Yeah, mm-hmm. but we've had we've had Hornswoggle attacking Spud with a hammer. 
the same week or maybe the week before because I watched them back to back um, Conan had a hammer in their clubhouse and he was yeah. like threatening to hit people with his hammer um, in that one there um, then you've got um, it was involved in the Broken Hardys thing because Rebby Hardy brought it to the ring in the steel cage match yeah um, it was also involved in Aces and Eights okay so we someone get had point. a hammer so what but of, of all the many weapons you can have in wrestling why the fuck do they keep using a fucking hammer because you if can tuck it hammer. in your jeans belt loop <laughs> thing whereas if you're carrying a kendo you stick around with it's a really knife, difficult you could do that with a knife stick you could do that with an, uh, an extendable baton thing like taser that's it there's so mm. many things you can use why do they keep using a fucking Hammer. Because that's the only tool they have in the toolbox. That's it. They run out of other plastic. We need to put out the ring. Well, we got a hammer. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Spanner. No. Well, actually, who is it? Someone. Was and they saying... also do. Have you noticed how they do it in reverse order as well? What they what you're supposed to be doing? Because obviously, let's be blunt. If that hammer was real and he yeah. was being beaten like that, Rockstar Spud would be having surgery on his knee. Yeah. What they know? Have you noticed how they normally bang it on the steps or something? Just go look. This is fucking real. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then on this one, they kind of go. Oh, you've got a picture of what's it? Pope holding it, going. Oh, it's quite heavy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. This is a legit hammer. It is not made of plastic, honestly. Yeah, and why is it not? Why is it not even metal coloured? It looks yeah. like, it's... like jazz hands. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> believe this shit. So I think we all agreed there's still some way to go. Yeah, I think that they I think a long way to go. They need to do contract talks with uh, WWE and mm. just for one show. Oh, that would never happen. Fuck off. <laughs> for one show, the big show would be the biggest thing that ever hit TNA, literally. Everything. Yeah. This, the thing is, uh, this sounds really stupid, but they've done it in the past, haven't they? Well, yeah. Because Christian showed up. Yeah. Because of contract stuff to basically promote a, a show. Uh, Ric Flair, they went Ric Flair in the Hall of Fame. Or doing the while he was under contract at TNA, so they said, "Okay, you can have Ric Flair if you send us Christian." Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So they can do it. The Undertaker's going to TNA, but as oh, mean, fuck Mark, no. oh. <laughs> mean Mark, mean Mark, to get rid of Abyss. Here comes the grave digger. I got it. No, if, if that actually <laughs> that's happens, what they would call him, wouldn't they? <laughs> yeah, but WWE's not going to do that. But fuck they're, off. they're no, not. That, but the point off. is that TNA have to open that door. But at the moment, they're going. No, you can't have the broken gimmick. You can't have the broken gimmick. Yeah, but, open but, but, the door, see what you can get. But that's what I would say. Go. Okay, you can have the uh, broken gimmick. Give us the Undertaker to do a, 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 a bit because Abyss needs to retire. He needs to fuck off. And if it, <laughs> if they had the Undertaker come in to take Abyss, back in the day, that should have happened. But if they did that just for that one angle, mm -hmm. Undertaker doesn't have to have a match, but like literally, there's yeah. a segment there, a promo that would build. That I agree with you. Up. Open the door because they yeah. could. Even, I mean, even Christian doing that was was brilliant. Hmm. I mean, he was one of the difference difference makers. Is he wasn't past his prime when he went there, um, and so he was involved yeah. in meaningful That's angles. A fair point. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, they just need to open the door and stop pretending. Talent that they're there. sharing going on. Jeff Jarrett, listen to what we say. Um, I think we're. People. We're running out of time, I think, today. Hugs and kisses. Um, Kai, do you want to, uh, as, as you're not here very often, do you want to do the, uh, the sign he's up for us? He's always here. No. <laughs> uh, right. Well, he's, we... he's here in my heart every time I listen to the show. True. I always go, wouldn't it be better if Kai was on it? That's <laughs> why you listen to the radio show. On, uh, when is that radio show on? Because I keep, oh, it's moved, knows, hasn't it? Keep moving around. <laughs> I don't know, we're, uh, Sunday's 9 o'clock till 10pm. Anyway, we're here to uh, represent and talk about Figure 4 Radio. It's not like I go on to their uh, wrestling show and talk about Figure 4 Radio. I do that every week. Why not check that out every, uh, every Wednesday, 6 <laughs> What am I doing? Oh yeah, right. So why not go and follow us on Twitter. It's at Figure 4 Radio. We also have the Instagram pages where Luke takes lots of perverted pictures of wrestlers and put them on there. No, I don't. See, that's 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 the voice of a stone cold liar. Yeah. What? That's exactly what he'd say if he did do it. <laughs> Why? Only you can decide. <laughs> it's it's artistic, not perverted. And people wanted to see those Charlotte pictures. I don't yeah, exactly. blame you for getting them off her phone. <laughs> Wonky boobs. <laughs> Uh, he's just taking a page out of someone else's book. Oh, oh that's bad. Dooms. That's Sorry. bad. L like us on Big <laughs> <laughs> Like us on Facebook. Uh, it's facebook.com forward slash figure four radio. We also have a website, figure four radio dot weebly dot com. We also have YouTube, youtube.com forward slash F4 TV. Or why not hand it over to Luke to do the podcast bit of where we can find podcasts? Uh, Don't say Stitcher this time. No, you can say Stitcher. No, 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 no. It's, it's, it's sound 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 sound. Sound. You said no, it wasn't, no, it wasn't me. That was, no, it's me. Yeah, I did it as a joke. joke. <laughs> Scott. Scott said Tinder and then someone That's went the Grindr. <laughs> find us on Tinder. Uh, oh, so you can find oh. us on uh, Podomatic. We've just told everyone I where Luke gets his Instagram pictures from now. <laughs> 
I'm passing this off to Ollie because he's going to talk over me. We are on iTunes, Stitcher, Podcloud, Mixcloud, Grindr, everywhere you get your podcast. Well, actually, when, did you guys listen to the Hustle Malone podcast a few no. weeks ago? Yes, yes. Um, I did. Yes. When yes. He's, okay, he's apparently legitimately got two videos on Pornhub. Yes, he yeah, has. Um, yeah, yeah I, I, I haven't found them yet. I have. <laughs> Do you know, that's because you have to search his name. You can't just stop on the opening page and watch oh, all those videos. Oh, that's why I'm going wrong, you see. I just put two hours into it and then he gave up. Well, you also Jesus. said on that <laughs> podcast that you were doing a promo class, so do a promo to end this show. I didn't do. I no. I, I took part in a promo class. Didn't, didn't You've say done I a got promo it. class. Do a promo um, to end the show. Sorry, iTunes, Stitcher, Podomatic, yeah. Cloud.com, um, Podomatic. Again. <laughs> Luke's already going. <laughs> He's Luke's going to for radiowebleedcom There you go. And of course, if you want to book me in the Killer Kai brand. Uh, for your wrestling shows, we do commentary. Um, we are currently they're available for signings. We are, we could do signings. We could do your meet and greet afterwards if you want. Um, available for wrestling, I heard. Well, yeah. <laughs> I heard he's no. a champion. <laughs> Is he? <it>? Yeah. <laughs> what? Which promotion was this? You for? you pinned Andy Kaufman's. What I heard. Okay. Um, so yeah, um, find us are oh, at Hope Wrestling Friday second of June. That's at the Hairy Dog in Derby. Uh, tickets at HopeWrestling.co.uk. Sunday the fourth of June. Sacrifice Pro Wrestling. See the school late and buzzard, hopesacrifice.bigcartel.com. Friday the 28th of July, Exposure Wrestling, Park E. Scarlet's, uh, that's in Clenethley. Uh, in Wales, exposureentertainment.co.uk. Saturday 29th of July, Wrestling League, Kingsway Hall, Harwich, wrestlingleague.pivotshare.com. Sunday the 16th of July, back at Sacrifice Pro in late and buzzard, hopesacrifice.bigcartel.com. And Saturday the 2nd of September, Wrestling League, Ipswich Hotel in Cop Dock. Ipswich, I'm going to say that so carefully. <laughs> um, that's wrestlingleague.pivotshare.com. But if you want to book us for your, for your commentary, for your shows, get in touch with the page at Figure 4 Radio. Bye. How? Toodles. Bye. We'll see you. Oh, what's no, happening Luke, next you, week? Luke, what's happening you, next what's week? Happening next something, week? Luke. Because <laughs> you've not said anything. Next that's week, no? we go back to war and find out... War! Where- why Paul <laughs> Bear- why Paul Bearer is becoming a future world heavyweight champion? But he's what dead. Was it? it was never said that it was for the belt. He's <laughs> a fucking promo, you <laughs> dick. Yeah, we that. have Ollie's in ring debut. We do. We have Luke cheering himself. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but basically, no other fucker and, does it. <laughs> and we have points and pizza. Basically, and pizza. tune in next Monday on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Podomatic, all of those. Not to, SoundCloud. Not SoundCloud. Don't tune in there um, to find out all of these in jokes, <laughs> where they come from, uh, because we're going back to war with Brands Warfare. See you next week. Bye.